What's up everybody? Today we are starting a new series where we are not allowed to use a quarterback. I have not looked at the team yet. And to start this off, I'm going to cut the quarterback. Because that's the whole point of this. No quarterback. Now let's take a look at what we got here. Running back is not good. Wide receiver, not good. He's not good. And the kicker's terrible. So in other words, as soon as next season comes around, or as soon as this game is over, which I need to go up here and put that on extreme, up that, up the minutes, and that should be it. No, but, uh, let's hop right in. This will be very hard as I think we're Indianapolis yet again. Yeah, we're Indianapolis again. Okay. I don't expect any of this to go good for a very long time. I mean, we will have a lot more money to work with considering um, the fact that quarterbacks take up somewhere around one third of everyone's cap space and we won't have that problem because we're never going to use a quarterback I don't know how this is going to go. I've never done anything like this. Every single time I've played this game, I've always used a quarterback. It's because it's pretty difficult to do anything without one. I mean, if you've ever played the game yourself, you would know. Quarterbacks are pretty essential. Because of plays like that, where there's just nowhere to run. But there would be somewhere to pass. I'm still keeping it on the ground. We do get the first. And we are taking a ton of time. As that wide receiver didn't even catch that pass. I tried. And the running back breaking a few tackles there. Not too bad of a run. I'm going to hand it off again. Take this one to the outside. Seven yard pickup. I mean, if we play like this consistently, we might actually have a chance at winning <laughs> more than one game. I mean, he's actually getting somewhere around five yards per carry. I don't like this one, though. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done there. I should have threw it away. That's what I should have done. And just because we don't have a QB doesn't mean we can't throw the ball just means it's not going to be my first option. Because I don't have a quarterback to throw the ball to them. And running will be very easily, easily the number one option for yards in this playthrough. I mean, it makes sense. It's a no QB run. You would expect a lot of running. And I'll probably do this with a few other positions, actually. I'll probably do one where I'm not allowed to draft defense. That might sound fun. Can someone pick that up, please? Not Jacksonville. <laughs> Too late. 
Oh, nice score again. Oh, we're not scoring here. <laughs> I got a terrible kicker and not enough time to go anywhere. I'd have to break out like a 20 yard run, which is probably never happening. I don't know, it might actually happen, just not this game. I don't even know if I'm going to get a first here. No. Well, we'll punt away. Surprised they didn't score there, too, or something like that. Hal Mary with six seconds and a, touch, <laughs> a touchdown for Jacksonville gives them a a three score lead. Now I didn't expect much because normally the best player when you start is the quarterback, but since we're doing no quarterbacks, it's pretty much nobody that we're starting with. And we get no gain there. I might have to look towards passing a bit more. Not because I want to, <laughs> but because if you have good receivers, it doesn't matter how good your quarterback is. Because they will make up for where they slack. Unless they're running all deep routes and then you're screwed. Still can't seem to get anything with the running back here in the second half of the game. Not the second quarter. We'll hit the running back there. He will be short of the first. I might go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? Oh uh, yeah, we made it. It was almost disastrous with the tackle way back there, but it was broken. That's probably intercepted in it. No, we actually caught it. Okay. The nobody tied in got a hold of it. I'll take that. Run this one up the gut. Actually, I'm going to take it back outside. I didn't see that hole. I probably should have just looked up instead of looking down. My first go-to is always to look down on the screen instead of up. I don't know why. But that is what it is, I guess. I'm going to hit the tight end because it will leave him wide open. I mean, even with nobody to nobody, we're still getting 10 yards of pass. It's just with the way this is laid out, I mean, we're going to need, like, at least three yards per run for this to be anywhere near successful. Still can't really do much running wise. Not since the first at least. And I'm going to look for a running back that has high catching. Because catching determines the fumble rate. And if I can get a running back that can do everything that a very good running back can do. And never fumble. I mean, all the better. I mean, this could have been a drive to tie the game if it wasn't for that fumble. Nice rushing touchdown by, I don't even know, I haven't looked at his name. 
I don't ever look at the names. Yeah, why not? Okay, we didn't get the onside, so this pretty much guarantees they're getting a touchdown. I mean, it was pretty much guaranteed they were getting one anyways. But also, just now thinking about it, I could probably get a a wide receiver to play purely just for the kick return. Because I don't want the running back getting tired on kick return, so perhaps I can use wide receivers in that position of the field, I guess is the word I'm looking over there. I mean, it'll be interesting for sure. If you watch my other series, or if you should, we just played in the Retro Bowl. Which it's just a normal series. I'll do it for this game. So it looks like Cincinnati or Miami might win the Retro Bowl this season. criticize coaching because he's not staying I guess I could have criticized the team because they're not staying either I say probably the main thing that's gonna happen here is I'm going to draft a ton of defense probably see here who am I rooting for Miami oh Jacksonville won okay so an in division win okay let's look here at my roster I'm going to trade every single one of them look at the draft here maybe okay here we go okay so there's a good running back right there already Let's see what he's got oh no he's not actually that good now this is a good one his catching is about as high as I've ever seen it on a running back the only problem is it's my only first round pick and is there good running backs down the board? Not really, I mean I'll look at you. Okay, well I'm gonna take the running back. Cause otherwise I have no form of offense. And I'll look here for defense. Or an O line. I mean, his blocking's good pretty much means people can't tackle while he's on them. Uh, am I going all offense? I feel like I can do decent with O-line in the third round. I could also just do decent with anybody in the third round. I will look at the top Kicker here. Okay. I think I'm actually going to take this O lineman here. Oh, this is difficult. Do I go defense or do I go O line? I mean, without uh, scouting any of these guys, I'd pick this guy. Oh, what do I do? Uh, I'm going I'm to take the O-lineman. I don't know. I think I'm 
might go all in on O-line. So these two are pretty much the same. I think he's just got slightly better strength. So that's to there. His blocking's the same, but his strength is better. So why is he higher up on the board than him? That tells me he's probably got better um, skills. I'm going to take the kicker, though, because I know he's guaranteed. I really don't know where to go, though. I'm thinking between this one and this one. I might just take both. That's what I'm going to do. I'll look at them after the draft. I take a third O lineman. Okay, so I don't want you. I'm not a fan of you. I mean, you're decent. You know, for some sense of defense, I'll go ahead and draft you. I'll go ahead and sign you, which should mean the end of the draft, yeah, okay. So let's look at potentials here. This is a very good running back. I'd say if we got a head coach that ups the potential of people, he could be a lot better, but this is a very good running back, as is. It's so O-lineman doesn't get much more we did look at him okay and Santos Zuber cool name he looks like he could be pretty good he's not very fast but strength and blocking wise he's pretty good and Liel Tart doesn't look like he's gonna be that good except for the fact that he'll never get tired throughout the entire game Okay, and Eno Nuzel looks like he's probably the best one. I mean, he's very developmental, but he is very good. And Niles Beckton, he's also really good. Once again, very developmental, meaning it's going to take a while before he reaches this max potential, but... I mean, he's got a good max potential. And it could be raised with a good coach. And this kicker's really good. I think we looked at him, though. So I'm not too surprised by that. And I think that'll do it for this one. We were just doing that one game in the draft. I think we did very well for the draft. Considering we weren't allowed to take a quarterback... We were lucky some of the top players were running backs. And that'll do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.